Oh my god, hello. Uh, I'm Emily, welcome back to the channel. Join me to do um, my hair, ew. So basically, I was gonna start this video tomorrow, but then I've just got the shower and thought, I'm actually not gonna have a lot of time tomorrow morning because we've got to be up and bloody well off to start the day because we are going to Owen Towers. If you know me personally, you might know this, that I had a bit of a weird like roller coaster obsession in um, like the first isolation like last year and like, I would watch so many roller coaster videos and like, oh god, it makes me sound like such a saddo, but I just got really into it, like El Tower Ryan, like all of that kind of stuff. And I just learned so much about Long Towers. Like, I feel like I've been, but I've never actually been. The new theme parks I've gone to is Flamingo Land and Whitewater Valley. My uh, North Yorkshire gals should appreciate, but you know, they're not very big parks, they don't have very big rides. So I'm actually like kind of nervous to go to Long Towers, but I'm course kind of not, but like, I do live in North Yorkshire and it is like, like by Stoke-on-Trent kind of, so it's an early, early start. I'm probably going to leave this house just after seven. But, oh. I just thought it'd be fun to vlog, take you along, show you what it's like with like COVID restrictions. I'm going to take a wee vegan picnic. I'm just going with my uni mates. Uh, we've been talking about going for literally like months and months and months and then it's actually happening now so it's kind of a bit like surreal like stop being lazy and actually go in also a little life update i literally just moved back in from uni i've moved out my second year house and we have like a month gap in our tenancy before we can move into the next house so i spent all day today unpacking and i've done a good job like i've done everything I've cleared my room out like i'm really proud of myself so left of the day i'm just gonna go to co-op and get some bits for my pack lunches you know i don't really want to pay the park prices and they say you can take a picnic in so that's what i shall be doing and so i've got an outfit out ready because it says it's gonna be 21 degrees tomorrow so i like don't know like do i have bare legs because on the rides it'll be cold but then walking around i'll be do you know you can tell i'm quite stressed about this like okay rat and bold way too much but basically we're going on a thursday and we got the like 20 pound student deal for june thing um it's not even June, July. If you don't care about theme parks, um, I'm really sorry. This might not be the video for you, but I really, 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 really am excited. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. Come along for the journey. Um, and if you're new here, this isn't my usual type of video. I'm like a vegan, sustainable, sustainable fashion vlogger. But today, I thought I'd show you my life. Okay, I've come back from the co-op. Um, so Gosh sent me these PR sample, whatever, uh, falafel and like, Bites. So I thought I'd take the bites and make like a wrap out of the falafel. So I got some seed wraps and some filler and then I also got my Asda, the back road Asda in Liverpool stopped doing the phone passes and it has been a heartbreak. I know I've got some pretzels to take with me. Okay, here's the wrap. We've got hummus, uh, red pepper, lettuce and the Moroccan falafels again, gifted and I also Good life and also Holy Moly, they make such pain like uh, guac and they make um, really nice like frozen veggie burgers and stuff. They both sent me like little merch things and both of them have cool bags in which is so handy because little ones like this I can just pop in my uh, rucksack and it'll keep my wrap nice and cool. I feel a bit mean, I kind of just like rammed her in there, I don't really have them, <laughs> anything else. And then I'll take these and a drink and Maybe something sweet and I should be just set up for the day. Hey! Rachel's driving so she's not gonna look. Um, I just showed it to Rachel's and then she's driving us there because I'm a pussy and I can't drive. Um, <laughs> I've got my pet lunch. Um, you can't really see my Oh my god, it looks like I'm naked. Um, so yeah, I didn't really say anything this morning because I got up at 10 to 7. So this better be worth it. Um, you need no, I was saying this last night. I'm so nervous because I researched it all in lockdown one, and I was obsessed with it. So, all the all the <laughs> I can tell you everything about the smiley crush. Like, don't you worry. Um, so I feel like I've got this preconception, and if it doesn't mean that, I'll get really upset. And if people are like lagging around, you know me. No, I've only been like what Valley and Flamingo Land. <laughs> but you know, like what Valley you. Yeah, if you know that dear. Um, I feel like people will complain about the cues and by people I mean Angus. So <laughs> he'll be getting up quick. Okay, we're finally in. 
I don't think we were meant to go on the monorail, but we did. So it was a nice little experience, except some kid playing TikToks about a million mega, what, what even, decibels. And then I swear to God, he started singing Doja Cat and he was singing <laughs> Fortnite and he, he was, was playing. Smacking his feet on the bar. Oh, couldn't be asked. So they're at Nemesis. If you've watched my Liverpool Week in a Life vlog, you should know all my friends. And if you're not, you're a fake fan. Introduce yourself and what you're excited about. Uh, I'm Katie, I'm um, I don't know. I've not, I've not been to Alton's house before, so. Neva, we're, we're virgins. Introduce yourself and what you're excited for. Tom. <laughs> I'm excited for Rita. I'm Emily, I'm excited for Galactica. Fingers. What, what, me? Um, Nemesis for this. Zarin, Rita. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my that god, that was good. so good. <laughs> that was absolutely <laughs> insane. Yeah, very quick. Very like, quick. I, like I, thought... I literally was going to whack my legs, which I obviously I wouldn't. Yeah. yeah, I feel like I'm a bit like, woo! We tried to go on um, Galactica, but it was shut. I can't hear why it said. So we're off to Wicker Man. Okay. Time for Wicker Man, and then I think we're gonna do the ones like in this area, I think, and then go back to Galactica hopefully. There he is, my guy, the Wicker Man. There's all like Nordic. So we've just been on Wicker Man, it was actually insane. Like, it was so, so like fast, and like, would you rate Wicker Man? Oh, Wicker Man was really good. It was yeah. really good. I like the theming, is insane. Like, it's I don't all like know why they Nordic. Need to add the, like, little yeah, the thing at the end. Okay. I did piss, but those at the end, you just went into darkness. I thought we were going to drop, but it finished. So I just ate my wrap, it fell to bits. We're on Spinball. Pin I don't know, that thing. And it's already quarter past one, so we're having to make some executive decisions and miss some rides out, which is a shame, but you have to do what you've got to do. Stop it! She's laughing at me. Shit, but oh, it's, it was so good. Like, it's quite aggressive. I was like, you, yeah, my, my like legs hurt. You get bloody. Oh, that was good. That was good. I recommend. Yeah, it was like a 10 minute wave. No, we literally basically straight on. Wow. I choked on my hair. It was not nice. The smiler, probably not gonna have time to go on, but. Okay, we're going on Oblivion, as you can see. Well, I'm so dead. It's just the drop, isn't it? I was watching. Um, I don't know what she called the blonde woman on Good Morning Britain on it. She was shitting her pants and Alison was laughing her ass off at that. Yeah, right, just been on it. Yeah, it was good. I had a disco ball like that when I was younger. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, give a little update of your day. I'm about to say, um, what was that? I've gone all shy. You're not going to avoid it. You look at the rides and like you kind of build an expectation, but they're just completely not flat when you're at the yeah, is that good or bad? No, it's good. I like, I think they're, they're even better when you're on. Not, yeah, they're not disappointed. You wouldn't want to, it look good and then it'd be shit. If anything, the only bad thing is they're too short. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the whole other one being cute. There's a domestic here. Yeah, no, I'm not, like, I'm not being disappointed. Because in your head you think it's longer. <laughs> <laughs> domestic? In your head you think it's longer than what yeah. it's going to be. Yeah. And then you get on it. Yeah. And, it, and you, it's good. Yeah. But it's just, you're like, oh. I wanted to carry on. Do you know what I mean? Get off the ride, you don't think about, oh, I just keep the 50 minutes. No, I actually don't have to do it. Are you going to be fit? Oh, God, guys. You think about how. All right. Guys, there is eight seats and there is seven of us. Do you know what that means? Oh, my God. That was pretty sick. Did scream a bloody lot. I screamed, I think, the most. Um, I said, I'm going to see the picture because I just know my eyes are shut, which I kind of regret. It'd be good if it had a little bit extra because I feel like it kind of drops and then it's done and then there should be more. Um, but I think we're heading to Rita now, which is like a fast start thing, so that'll be good. I brought a packed lunch, so this doesn't bother me, but like pretty much every stand I've seen has a vegan option. I'm pretty sure the restaurant does. I've just seen a vegan option at the um, Burger Shack. There's vegan hot dogs. Like I've seen good vegan options everywhere. So if you don't want to bring a packed lunch, there's defo vegan options, but it's just expensive, isn't it? I know originally it was this thing and the gardens, but I didn't expect it to be so pretty. It's so nice. It's not as pretty as you. Rita, so I'm very excited. What's your lunch? Vegan um about me. My, my semi-vegetarian queen this month. It was literally the longest like zigzag to get around here. 
but it um like the speed it sets off i'm pretty nervous so like look at that i'm not a good vlogger but that looks sick that was absolutely insane like i know it's fast but like i don't think you really clock it, it literally goes from zero to like 98.3 miles Miles, is it miles per hour? Yeah. yeah. Jesus Christ, you are like thrown back in your seat and then there's more after. Again, I screamed. Oh, I didn't look at the picture. Defo was just screaming. A lot of the rides you've had to like keep your mask on, but they kind of let you take off, but that they wanted you to keep it on, obviously, because if you're screaming and spluttering, you're spreading the COVID if you have it, which you shouldn't do if you're at the park. So now we're going to try to head back to Galactica on the cable cart thing. Change of plan, we couldn't be bothered, so we're just walking to Galactica if we can get on it. If not, we're going on the rubber, how do you say it? <laughs> rubber dinghy. Rubber dinghy. Rapids, rubber dinghy. How, what did you rate Rita? Uh, 10 out of 10. Was that yeah, your that first was, time going on that one? Yeah, I haven't been on Rita before. That was so definitely. good. My favourite, I think it was so fast. It just that was just like proper like thrill, like take your breath away, literally. <gasps> Should we get a face pin? Hair brain. <laughs> oh. oh island girl. Hey guys, update. So Galactica was shut again because it's working at full capacity and they couldn't give us a time of when it'd be open. Yeah, on the app it still said open, which I think at Alton Towers you should update that so it actually says. Um, so we're waiting for the Congo River Rapids, which we definitely need because as you can see, it's got very, very sunny and it was really overcast earlier. Um, but all of the queues in the sun and I am dying a bit. Um, so hopefully this is a good relief. And then we'll see after that what time it is. I'm not gonna lie, I think that was the absolute longest queue we've had, like in this whole thing. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> we hit the wall there, that was not. That was a very long queue. I thought the ride was going to be a bit I long. I think that's the most underwhelming. <laughs> yeah, and it was nice. Rapid, it, wasn't that nice. it wasn't that rapid. Um, yeah. And the picture was a tenner. And then she asked me if I was on a school trip, and I said no. I'm twenty. <laughs> My skirt's a bit soggy, but it was nice. But the queue was far too long. And now it's quarter two, I think. So I don't really know what what we can do now. We're going to try and see if we can get into Wickham. But if not, pub dinner. Made it back to the Wickham um, in time for another ride, and I'm having a corn pasty. Oh, we're leaving. I think the Wickham man was a very good one to end on, except I was sat by myself, and we were all sat at the back, so I literally got ragged about, and I've got an absolute stinger of a headache. But we're off to get some pub food to finish off the day. Oh, no. Ten out of ten. We've left. We're walking out. They're making plans. I'd say overall, very good day. Got to go on quite a few rides. Would have been impossible to go on them all, especially when they didn't update the app and say that the rides were temporarily shut. Um, but it just means an excuse to go back. Um, how was your day, guys? Out of 10? 10 out of 10. Yeah. No, actually, no, once nine. you get the pub for that. <laughs> yeah, food to come. Yeah. Food to come. So we've come to the Tauber. It's so cute, it's a little bit of garden. It's literally in Alton, so like right by um, the theme park, obviously. And then we're just gonna get some lunch and uh, dinner. Dinner. I spent too long down south. <laughs> and then drive back. You can get chips with curry sauce. Oh! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna get go What are the names? Cheers, this is the nice thing I've drank all day. It's literally yeah. just Pepsi Max, I'm not pie. drunk driving. Honestly, you're Tells her in, she's weird in the comments because she just got her <laughs> Pepsi Max with cucumber and even the barmaid. Was... That, that's just like, like, um... Oh, <laughs> I can't even describe this. I want some salad. Uh, love food. Is that what you're yeah. going with? Yeah. Okay, it's the next day. Obviously, I was so tired. I literally right, went to bed as soon as I got in pretty much. But I thought I'd do a little review, like a little end sign-off thing. Like, so overall, amazing day, 10 out of 10, just what I needed. Like, it was so nice to see my friends because um, we've moved out of Liverpool for a few months. So it was just really nice to see them. And as I said at the beginning, like, I love roller coasters and I got really into like researching them, like how sad. So it was really, really, really good to like actually finally go and go on the rides. So it was just such a good day. I was so happy. Like, you know, when you're just like buzzing, like of like happiness, like, Oh, cute. I think I'm gonna like rate or like discuss each coaster based on the wait time, the theme in, and the actual coaster itself. Um, so first we went on Nemesis. The wait time wasn't that bad. I think it was pretty accurate to what it said on the app. And also it was the first coaster of the day. So like we weren't that fussed to wait because we we're kind of just like catching up and chatting and stuff. 
The theme was pretty cool, but I didn't really understand it. Like there was a big this like alien kraken thing. Um, I think because it's so noisy as well, you couldn't really like hear the screens and the speakers and stuff. Um, but it was still pretty cool, but not my favorite theme in out of the place. And then the actual ride itself was so good. Like I was screaming, all, I, I think I screamed on every ride, but it was like, I felt like light on my feet when I got off. It was like crazy, like probably like, you know, wicker man. Honestly, I think that was one of my favorites. Like that was so good. Say it like doesn't go upside down or anything. Like the wait time wasn't too bad the first time I we went on it and the second time we were on it, it was basically nothing. Um, but the theming, oh my god, it was so cool. It's all like Nordic and like Wicker Man, obviously. Um, like proper cool, like everything's so sick. Like even the ride itself, there's like flames and stuff. Like it was so cool. Um, I feel like that was one of my favorites. Like we went on it twice. And then first time we went on it, we were by the front. And then the second time we were at the back. So we got like both experiences and the back was so much rougher, but it was so, so good. Like I wasn't expecting to like that one as much because I was like, oh, it doesn't go upside down like the other ones, but it was so good. And then for the screwball one that was an underdog i was not expecting that to be so good but i really liked it wait time literally we were on and off the ride within like 10 minutes theme in it wasn't really i know it used to be like a sonic one i'm pretty sure um so the theme in it is now is a bit like dull but the ride itself so good like so like disorientating like i really wasn't expecting it to be like actually good so if you've got like 10 minutes to spare literally go check that one out because it was really good oblivion wait time was pretty long and it was in the sun and the music was so loud and repetitive. It was so, so annoying. Like I actually was like close to like, punching it because it was so loud. So the theme was like, okay, but it more just pissed me off because it was so, so noisy. But the ride itself was really good. Like obviously it is just like, you drop pretty much vertical. Um, but I wish there was a bit more after because it kind of like goes around and stuff and then you're done. And then it took ages to like get off because they were, there was like another cart in front of us and then the one that was being loaded onto. So like you were just kind of like sat there for a while. So then the buzz kind of like wore off while you were sat there. Um, but I understand like COVID and stuff, they've got to be careful with like loading people on and that. Rita, again, the wait time was pretty long and it was like directly in the sun. So it was pretty annoying. Like there was some shaded bits, but um, yeah, that one was pretty long. Theming, obviously really cool. It's like a race car driver. Like you've got like the full on like, Formula One style lights, like that was really cool. Um, the ride itself, incredible. Like, I don't think you're like, obviously, when you hear like basically goes from zero to 100, like you're like, oh, right, okay. But like, bloody hell, like you're literally like thrown out yourself. Like, it was so, so fast. And then it was such a shame about Galactica. I really wish they'd update that app to actually say that it was closed because obviously, COVID, it was working at maximum capacity or whatever. Um, but why couldn't they put that on the app? Because two times we walked all the way over and if you know the park, it's like quite far away out. We walked all the way there just to be told by some person that it was shut. Like I feel like that's the kind of thing you should be using the app for, but maybe that's just my opinion. We went on the Congo River Rapids. I think that was the longest queue of the day. Like that was so, so long. Honestly, mm, I thought it was gonna be a lot longer and a bit more rapid -y. Like Rachel got quite splashed, but apart from that, it wasn't like, I thought it was just gonna be a bit longer and a bit rougher, I don't know. Um, considering the wait time was so, so long. And then we got off that and literally like ran to our last ride of the day, which was Wicker Man. So say in total, we did a pretty good amount. We missed out Galactica, but that obviously wasn't our fault. Smiler, the queue was just so long. It's like, we could have either gone on two rides or gone on just the Smiler. And then we didn't go on 13. But I'd say it gives us more of an incentive to go back, um, especially with the student deal, it's really good. And I think they do an October fest, which sounds quite interesting. So yeah, amazing day. Did just need to work on that app a bit more, I think. Uh, but it was really handy to see the wait times. Um, and have like directions to the park, like to the rides. Actually, I just forgot to say about like COVID and stuff. So you do have to wear a mask and some of the rides they like probably say like, keep your mask on, like Rita, they really want you to keep your mask on and that. But the others they went to first, I feel like if you just took off your mask um, when you got on the rides. But most of them are outside anyway. I just put mine on if we were going inside or if it was like a busy queue and stuff. Um, I feel like maybe they would be stricter about it. Um, like they could be, but I don't think it was too bad because it is a theme park, like it is outside and you don't have to wear a mask outside. You know, it's not mandatory to wear a mask outside like normally, just hanging them out. Um, so, but I still tend to put one on in like town centre if it's busy and the same went for there. I just kind of popped it off if we were like in the kind of like inside waiting bit and stuff. And there was hand sanitizer all over the park, which I made use of like coming on and off ride. So yeah, it was a pretty good effort for COVID. So yeah, I just thought I'd throw that in there if anyone was wondering about that because I know that's quite a hot topic. 
again this isn't really my usual type of video i just feel like i'm just living out my roller coaster dream from lockdown one like actually doing a vlog about autumn towers um but if you like sustainable fashion and vegan and food and makeup i'm the place um i am doing more vlogs over summer just because they're like fun and they're nice to look back on and i get happy editing them because i'm like oh God, yeah that happened um but i'm gonna try to do some more like of my normal fashion content i've been slacking i know but i've been moving house and stuff but i've got quite a lot of clothes here in my obviously this month <laughs> so i feel like i can do my usual fashion content quite well here so anyway if you like this video please like comment and subscribe if you've been taught on towers what's your favorite ride i think i'm gonna say i think i'm gonna say wicker man like the whole experience of it just was really good um all my social medias will be down below and if affiliate links you want to check out um depart vintage all the usual you know and hopefully i will see you in the next video goodbye